Hello creepy friends, and welcome to another video. I hope you've been having a good February. Today we're doing the setup for my March reading journal. As many of you guessed in the polls on my YouTube and on my Instagram, the theme for March is Retro Computer. And I'm doing it mostly completely by hand drawing this month, but in the description below I've linked some shops that sell some stickers that are similar to what I've drawn here. So if you want to do a theme like this yourself, but you don't want to do all the hand drawing, those are some resources that you could possibly use for that. And as always, there'll be links to all the materials that I am using in the description below. So on the left page here, I'll have my March statistics, and then the right hand page will be the title page. I thought it would be fun to use a little floppy disk motif for the statistics, so as you can see here, I'm just drawing the label on the floppy disks, and then I'll write everything in on the labels when the month is done. For all the spreads that you'll see today, I'm just using a regular black ballpoint pen to do the outlining, and then zebra mild liner markers to do the coloring. I wanted to use pastels as the color theme this month, so the four colors that you'll see me using here are a purple, a pink, a light blue, and a greenish blue, and then I just used gray for everything else. Because I hand drew everything this month, it took me a lot longer than normal, so I had so much footage I had to cut out a lot of it. If there's something that you see that you don't know how I did it, just leave me a question in the comments and I'll let you know. After doing some of the drawing, I decided that I wanted the outlines to be a little bit thicker and bolder, so I also came in with a black acrylic paint pen and did some outlining to everything. Now I'm starting the main illustration for the title page, and for my reference photo I used a picture of the very first Macintosh personal computer. I'm actually showing you everything out of order. This is the last drawing I actually did when I was setting everything up, so at this point I was a little bit tired and I don't actually do as much detail as I would have liked, but you know, when you get tired, you just gotta modify things for yourself. Don't push yourself too hard and don't tire yourself out. You'll see in a second here that I'm adding some vines coming down from the top of the computer. And the idea I was going with here is that it was kind of an abandoned computer, maybe out in a field or out in the woods somewhere, so I put a little bit of vegetation around. When I get to the point of coloring in the leaves and vines, you'll see that I use a green acrylic paint pen to do that, and in hindsight I think that was a mistake. I should have used the same greenish-bluish um, mild liner marker that I had used for other things so that all the colors between all the spreads matched each other. But, you know, you live and learn, it's totally fine, and it's not a big deal. As I always say, we all make mistakes, and that's completely fine. And in case you were wondering, the names of the colors that I use for all the Zebra Mild Liners in the spreads are Pink, Violet, Blue, Blue Green, Cool Gray, and Dark Gray.
I also ended up doing some final little detailing with a silver acrylic paint pen. As you can see on the computer screen, I put a script hello and I colored that in with the silver paint pen. And that's because I believe there was a startup screen on the original Mac that had this same hello. And then I'm using silver just to put some dots in to fill in a little bit of the background. Now we're moving on to the next spread. On the right hand side, I'm drawing in my monthly calendar and I decided to put that on the monitor of just an old PC. So that one's not modeled after Mac, just kind of a generic PC. And then on the left hand side, you'll see that I'm going to draw what the motherboard looked like on the original Mac. I just looked up a reference photo of that as well and I just simplified it down. And then on that left-hand picture, I will be putting all the book covers of the books that I read in March. And drawing in all those chips and things on the left-hand side was not a difficult process, but it did take a really long time and it was very repetitive. Since this is a reading journal, you might be wondering why I have a calendar. And I use this calendar to mark off all the days that I read certain books. And you can see a completed version of that in my January wrap up video, or in two weeks, I'll be putting out my February wrap up, wrap up video where you can see all the books that I read and see all my finished spreads for February. Also, I like to have a calendar in here because it lets you see how you might do it if you're using this as a regular bullet journal spread instead of a reading journal spread. Everything I do could be slightly modified and you could use these themes for your planner or your normal bullet journal. And you'll see here, I'm doing a whole bunch of coloring in for these two spreads. And you might notice this is not the true to life color of this board. It would be green if I was doing this uh, lifelike colors, but I wanted everything to be cohesive and I don't like to use too many colors in all my spreads. So I wanted to keep the color scheme the same. So I just made it gray like the rest of the computers. A little fun fact about me, I'm a little bit older than the average age of most of my viewers. So when I was a kid, I actually did use uh, some computers that looked like these ones. And I did use those floppy disks too, back in the day when I was in elementary school and middle school.
Now we're moving on to the final spread that I'm going to show you today. And this is where I do my monthly book reviews for all the books that I read for that month. And I usually always do this kind of six squares on two pages, and I do different themes. So again, I use the first Mac personal computer as my reference, and so this is what the windows looked like on that Mac. So I just wanted to copy that and make it look like some computer windows. And if you were wanting to use this theme for your planner bullet journal instead of a reading journal, you could always use this type of spread to do your weeklies. So these could be the days of the week. You could use it for tasks, follow up, things like that as well. Then the last thing that I'm doing is going back and making sure that I put some silver dots in the background of all the spreads so that they're all cohesive and they all kind of have the same background. Thanks again for joining me on my March setup video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it relaxing. If you did enjoy it, please like and subscribe. If you want to see my completed and filled out spreads for February and a book review of all the books I read in February, join me in two weeks. That's when that video will be coming out. And I'll also put a link down below for my February setup video. If you haven't already seen that, that was my UFO theme. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy wherever it is that you're watching from, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.